Hello there, this is Will from Theme Flood, and the purpose of this video today is to give you a quick introduction to the Vaporiva Skins theme development framework released through the Theme Flood website. Vaporiva Skins can work more or less like any other conventional Vaporiva theme in that you can apply it to either a new or existing project file. Vaporiva Skins can work with all Vaporiva page types, um, so that includes things like styled text, markdown HTML code, Vaporiva blog page type, contact form and you also work with a number of third party page types too such as Stacks, Weaver Picks, Rapid Cart Pro, things like that. Wrapper Weaver Skins is fully mobile compatible. It has valid HTML5 markup throughout. There's a lot of emphasis placed on reducing the overall code base of Wrapper Weaver Skins to result in faster loading web pages. We've got a dedicated printer style sheet built in so you get nice good quality printouts of web pages published with this theme and there's over 100 extra content containers in this theme. If you want to see where all the extra content containers are located just open up the theme style settings and scroll right to the bottom of the list. There's an option here to preview all the available extra content containers. And you can see some of these span a full width of the page so they're suitable for things like banners and embedded video or large sort of blocks of content and others are within grid cells so they're suitable for smaller pieces of content images and thumbnails and things like that and because you're using an existing grid framework you don't have to worry yourself about um, needing to find alternative stacks or um, code snippets in order to create the grids for you so you, the theme will create a nice grid for you in which to place your content within One of the key features of Rappery for Skins is the ability to quickly toggle off different page components. Again, in the theme style settings here, we've got the option to choose which components are shown. At the moment, I've opted to show a Jumbotron at the top of the page. We've got the Jumbotron navigation bar, we've got our main content and sidebar container, we've got a lower breadcrumb bar, and we've got a minimal footer. If I scroll the page down, we can see those components towards the bottom here, like a breadcrumb bar and our footer. In addition to these page components we can also set the constraint width which is the width for items like our central content container and sidebar will be sort of squashed to within the middle of the page and if we want to we can override any of these constraints with these constraint overrides. So for example at the moment now I've set my navigation bar, my jumbotron with a constraint override which means they span a full width of a page. If I wanted to, I could just uncheck that and, for example, I could make the Jumbotron the same width as my content container and sidebar. These options combined offer quite a nice solution for being able to change the layout of the page but without having to go into the actual underlying source code of a the theme and make quite complicated modifications to the actual HTML structure. Um, so these are quite a convenient way to quickly change the layout of the of the pages you are building with this theme. You can customise basic colours and font faces yourself in Wrapper Weaver Skins. Again in the theme style settings here we've got quite a lot of options here that relate to and correlate to um, bootstrap styling. So if, for example if you've used bootstrap before you'll, you might be aware of the different button styles available like primary, secondary, success and danger. Well the same thing here is happening in the uh, Wrapper Weaver Skins theme we've actually got colour pickers that correlate directly with those different bootstrap styles. So you're able to create your own skin and, and generate you know, an, a custom colour scheme if you choose to. Likewise you can change things like the line height applied to text, font sizes and there's a very large number of embedded and web safe font faces available as well to use in this theme. All the embedded web font faces are actually stored within the theme contents. They don't rely on any external um, services or font foundries and the embedded font faces also support that in extended subsets too. So that's just an option if you wanted to now, if, if you're in a position whereby you quite like what you're, you're getting already with the theme but you just fancy your hand at just tweaking a few aspects here or there uh, that's certainly feasible to do and as you can see Wrapper Weaver Skins doesn't just start you with a completely blank white canvas you do actually have a basic 
page layout in place already um, to help you visualize things and to give you a sure footing towards being able to build up a more complex web page if you decide to go that route. The way Wrap Weaver Skins gets his name is because it is possible to download additional themes or skins off the internet and use them with this theme framework. In particular, if I go to a website called Bootswatch in my web browser here, um, there's actually a, a wide choice of different skins or themes listed for download here. Um, some of them are sort of a light on dark colour scheme, others are much lighter. You can see some of them have um, different font faces applied and they all generally take the same bootstrap components like buttons but apply different styling to these, to these components. Taking an example like Darkly, I can preview it here on the website and I can see straight away that this is quite a dark and distinctive theme design. They're giving me some more examples here of different components in Bootstrap, what it would look like if I was to apply this um, downloaded theme or skin to my page. And so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go ahead and download this one to apply to my Wrapweaver project. So you want to just come back and click on the download button here. You can either download the minified version or the full version. It doesn't matter either way. Wrapweaver skins will, will understand what you're applying and will work with it. If you end up with a, just a big page of code like this, don't worry. You just want to click on File, Save As in your web browser. I'm going to download this. I'm going to call it darkly.css and just save it to my desktop. So that's all you need to do from the Boots, Bootswatch website. Now I'm going to click back into Rapid Weaver and I'm going to open my resources and I'm just going to add that new style sheet I just downloaded. Then I right click on the resource and I select copy macro. Now in the site settings I'm clicking on code and within the head section of the page I'm going to add link I'm going to add an attribute of row with a value of style sheet I'm going to add another attribute of media with a value of all those two attributes just tell the web browser that A this is a style sheet and B we want it applied to all types of media and finally, a hyper reference attribute. I'm just going to paste in my resource syntax like so. Okay, so I'll click back onto my home page and I'm just going to let's see. I'm just going to turn off my Rapid Weaver banner image so that we get the, the full impact of this new skin applied to the page. And there you go, you can see, as you can see, we've, we've, within a few clicks, we've radically changed the appearance of the page. And indeed, you know, if I wanted to take things a little bit further, what I could do is go back into the page components here. I could turn off my Jumbotron navigation bar and turn on a middle navigation bar, like so, which brings the navigation bar down. That's been restyled with the new skin. I can go down to the miscellaneous style settings here and I could say that I want to display my site title within the navigation bar and let's also let's go back to Jumbotron and just turn off site title perhaps there you go so you can see you've got quite a few options combine in again ability to apply skins with the ability to toggle different components within your web page and within a short space of time you can create quite an exciting web page design but one which is of quite a high professional standard um, these skins are very good quality you know they're expertly designed so they're great to use inside wrapper weaver skins particularly if you're not too overly fussed about the exact layout of the page you know if you're just happy with a, a, a fairly decent page but you want to change some of the styling of the text and the colors a bit these skins are absolutely perfect to use for that task and they'll certainly help you gain a, a very professional design ready to publish online 
Of course, with these blank theme frameworks, a lot of people want to build something from scratch using a Stax plugin. And that's very easy to do with Wrapweaver skins. You could just go up here to the components again and turn off everything except for the content and sidebar container in the middle of the page. But an even easier option is to scroll down to the miscellaneous settings again and just check this option marked build entire page with stacks. Now what this does is that it just removes everything off the page except for your central content container. And at this point you could then go ahead and custom build practically any web page design you could dream of using any sort of choice of stacks that you like which are compatible with Wrapweaver skins. We do offer a growing selection of free stacks available on the ThemeFlood website. If you click onto the stacks page, there's some excellent stacks there to work with Wrapweaver skins. Um, things like the intrinsic grid system, which are by far the most sophisticated grid available for Wrapweaver, which will let you build virtually any complicated page layout. You've also got stacks like Gator for custom navigation bars. You've got the fundamental stack for embedded web fonts and such like. You've also got some simpler stacks such as box canvas and sectional for building smaller components and blocks of content and banners and things like that within your pages. So what you can hopefully begin to see here is there's actually a whole range of different ways you can use Wrapweaver skins and build some really exciting web page designs with it. But most importantly, holding on to some of those underlying fundamentals of good quality web design um, you know like the, the mobile compatibility the valid html5 markup the faster page loading and um, a dedicated print style sheet for example so you get a nice quality print output too um, one other feature i just want to emphasize with wrapweaver skins and it's one of the reasons we've been using it internally for so long in our company for building client websites with is some of the excellent accessibility um, features built in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, if you just bear with me a second, I'm just going to switch off this skin again uh, just so we return back to a, a normal type of page layout. Um, but you know with web accessibility being such an important factor I think this definitely is worth emphasizing and uh, showing you a good example of uh, of it in in this in this setup so I've just returned basically back to how we started at the start of this video and I'm just going to go ahead and open this page now in Firefox which is my web browser um, but these accessibility features do work in other web browsers too and the first thing to note is that what I can do is I can use the tab key on my keyboard and each time I press it um, different links in the page highlight with a red outline and what I can actually do is keep pressing the tab key and I can actually navigate all the way through the menu system, including the sub pages, just using my tab key. And this is a great way for people to navigate website because if I want to go to a page now, I can just press the return key. Likewise, each one of these parent page links, excluding the site title, has what's called an access key um, assigned to it. And what I can do is, for example, to get to the contact page, if I just press Control alt 6 on my keyboard, it's like a keyboard shortcut. And this actually takes the user directly to that page. So they don't actually have to interact with a mouse. And certainly if you're building um, websites for perhaps smaller corporations um, or a type of website where people need to regularly go to the same page, these keyboard shortcuts can prove to be mighty useful and they're also a great accessibility A2 for website users. Um, so that's probably all there is to, to discuss in this video, I think, about Wrapweaver skins. I would strongly urge you to download the free demo version of it and spend some time playing around with it yourself. And also we have put together quite a comprehensive online demo for Wrapweaver skins and that's great to explore and play around with. It particularly shows off some of the things you can do if you decide to build an entire page just using the Stacks plugin, uh, there's some really good examples there which you can uh, take a look at. And that project file is available to download, so you can either use those files as a basis for building your new website, or you can just sort of have a nosy around and see how, how we built the, the examples shown there. I do admit that Wrapweaver skins you know, might seem 
a bit complicated, a, a bit different from the normal type of theme you might be used to. Um, so please, please, if you do have any questions at all about it, feel free to get in touch with me. And I'm always happy to answer any questions you have about it and, you know, help resolve problems and, and offer solutions of the best way to do certain things and, and such like. So uh, I hope this video has been of help to you anyway and I look forward to chatting with you again soon.